Hi there. In this video, we will review how to charge your implanted device. First, let's review the components of your charging system. The charging system consists of the charger, an adapter power cord, a charging belt, and a charger holster. Before your first charging session, it's a good idea to fully charge the charging unit. This could take up to six hours. Completing this step will ensure you will not be interrupted while charging your implanted device. To charge your charger, simply attach the adapter power cord into your charger and plug into a standard wall outlet. You should only use the provided adapter power cord. After you plug your charger in, you will see an orange light on the side of the charger illuminate. This lets you know the unit is actively charging. When the orange light turns off, the charger is fully charged and ready for use. When you are not using the charging unit to charge your implanted device, keep the unit plugged into the wall outlet so that it's always fully charged. Charging your implanted device may be completed while on the go or in any comfortable position. The choice is yours. When you are ready to charge your implanted device, remove the adapter power cord from the charger, place the blue charging pad inside the mesh pouch of the charging belt. The blue charging pad should be aligned over your implanted device. Charge your implanted device over clothing as it is not necessary to place the blue charging pad directly onto your skin. On the face of the charger, there is a start charge button, an antenna strength indicator, and the implanted battery level indicator. Firmly press and hold the start charge button to start a charging session. The charger beeps while it is locating your implanted device. When connection is made, one or more circles on the antenna strength indicator will illuminate. The more circles you see, the stronger the connection and less chance of interruption during charging. However, charging successfully is possible with just the outer circle illuminated. If there is a poor connection between your charger and implanted device, you will see only the center light of the antenna strength indicator illuminated. Move the blue charging pad slowly until one or more circles are illuminated. The charger will sound one long beep and turn itself off if connection is unsuccessful. In this case, reposition the blue charging pad and press and hold the start charge button again to initiate charging. Once connection is successful, adjust the charging belt to reduce movement of the blue charging pad. If at any point the blue charging pad moves too far away from your device, the charger will return to search mode and will begin beeping. This will alert you that repositioning is needed. Slowly reposition the blue charging pad until one or more circles on the antenna strength indicator are illuminated. Once a good connection is made, it may take one to two seconds for the beeping to stop. During the charging session, the battery level indicator will blink at the current battery level. As charging completes, each battery level illuminates. Once your implanted device is fully charged, one long beep will sound, the battery level indicator will fully illuminate all four levels, and the charger will turn itself off. Now that you have successfully charged your implanted device, plug the adapter power cord into your charger and then into a standard wall outlet to ensure it is fully charged and ready for the next charging session. Remember, it's important to charge your implanted device regularly to ensure consistent stimulation. The battery level indicator on your remote and charger will show the charge of your implanted device and assist you in determining when charging is needed. Scheduling a time to charge daily guarantees stimulation is never interrupted by battery depletion. Please reach out to your NevroCare team with any questions. Thanks.